Welcome to the video guys. And as you can probably tell by title, we're doing a tier list of the best like exercises that you can do like in the gym or yeah, at the gym really. So anyway, um, I'm actually gonna be doing a Q&A soon. So spam your um, questions down that you got from in the comments. They can be about football, about gym, about anything in life really. So make sure you spam your question go, go ham, everything like that. Um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share with all your friends because we want to make my channel grow and let's get into the uh, rankings. Alright, so I've not actually made this tier list but as I can tell here we've got about uh, 30 maybe exercises and as you can see the thingies, the tiers are listed as goated, decent, I wouldn't choose to do it and should be banned from the gym, I suppose that's what I mean. So, let's get cracking on. And the first one is knee raises. Um, I think they're all right as a beginner, but for me, like, once you get past knee raises, it's like, how, how long do you need to do knee raises for? I'd say like a month from going to a gym, and then after you should be able to do leg raises, which are a lot better. So, but I'd say it's I, like as you're starting this height, Maybe like as your, you might, it's just like a nice little one to go back to maybe. Me personally, I haven't done them for ages, like I just prefer to do le leg raises. Um, but if you're a beginner or anything, it's all right exercise to do. All right, moving on to the next one is dumbbell shoulder press. I actually think this is very decent. Um, I use dumbbell uh, shoulder press quite a lot in my workouts. Um, variations, because obviously you have... When you change it, you have the Arnold press, sometimes you can do one arm, sometimes you can do two arms. And this was actually in my last look, I was actually doing dumbbell um, shoulder press. So I actually think um, dumbbell shoulder press, great exercise for the shoulders. Um, and I'm putting it up there. It's not in goated, it's not in goated, it's not like, <clears throat> it's not like I'm buzzing to go and do it or anything, or it's like known for its name, but it's like, basically it's like, what, what team would I say in football? It's like a PSG in football. It's not like it's not like with the Barca's, the Red Owls, the Arsenal's, but <laughs> it's just below them. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm going to put it in decent. Moving on, next one, and as you can tell here, we actually do have hanging leg raises, and I'm going to put that in decent as well. As I just said, that the knee raises are a decent exercise if you're starting off, but then as you as you get stronger in that, it's actually a lot better to do, in my opinion, to do. Hang the leg raises, and I think I think it's a good exercise. I normally finish off most of my workouts doing leg raises. Um, so yeah, good good for the abs, but it's also good for the hip flexors as well, which is why I do them mostly because then it then you start running like you said bolt. Next up, we have um, dump uh, incline dumbbell bench press. I'm gonna put this also in decent. When I, when I put them all in, I'll I'll go back have a little look at all of them. Then I might change some orders, but at the moment I'm putting in decent. I think apart from bench press, it's the second best um, thing to work your chest. Um, I do it quite a lot. In all, basically every week I'll do uh, incline dumbbell press. So that's why it's going in. It's blah blah day some mate. Um, next up, lunges. I'm gonna put lunges in. This is an odd one, you know. I'm a, it's between I and decent. Um, I've got a lot in decent, but I'm gonna go with decent for lunges. It's a all round. It's just a decent exercise, isn't it? Like it's not I like I. It's like I. It's like yeah. It's like working a tad, but you've got more a lot more exercises that are better in it. With lunges, it's like a decent move because you obviously got reverse lunges. You've got barbell lunges. Like as well with lunges, I do it at least one time a week in the leg sessions. So that is why it is going in the decent. And moving on to the next thing, deadlift. We all know where this is going. Straight to goated. Um, I would say probably the best or the most well round... I'll probably say the best, probably I'd say the best. I'll probably say the best exercise out of them all really. Um, there might be a couple that challenge it, uh, like squats, uh, bench press, shoulder... No, nah, shoulder press you can't put in there. But it is, it's like, it's like the McDonald's of weightlifting, I'd say, deadlift. Next up, we've got lat pulldowns. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to put that pull downs in decent as well. I think it's very nice. Well, you get a lovely, lovely little squeeze. The back contracts and everything. That's beautiful when you're doing that. Um, but me personally, again, with lap pull downs, I'll do them probably once a week because I think it's a lovely little back exercise. Um, we, won't, we won't talk too much about lap pull downs. It's just like, it's quite, it's like what self expander in it. Uh, next up, leg press. Another per, another exercise that's going to go in decent. I know decent's getting very filled up, but in my opinion, it's a very decent exercise. Whack on the weights on there, or you can do it lighter weight and do it quicker. Um, so yeah, leg press is also going in double decent. Uh, next up, bench press. Just like the deadlift, it's not going above the deadlift, like, it's not going like that, it's, it's staying just behind the deadlift, but another great exercise, best exercise for chest. Uh, military, military, <coughs> sorry guys, I can't speak. Military press, also gonna put in goated. It's not, it's not like these two, it's like close to going down to decent, but it's easy, the best shoulder exercise that there is, that there is out there. So that is why I'm gonna put in the goat. Next up, we've got bent over barbell. I'm gonna put it on an eye. Like, I'm, I'm not the craziest fan about it, but in circumstances where you can't do a lat pull down or some other exercise, it's good to do a bent over barbell row. Plank. At, when, I, when I was first working out, it was like here, but now it's gone down to here. It's like, all right, like, the thing is, once you once you like working out quite a bit, the planks just get quite easy unless you add a little bit of weight. But it's gonna go in high. Next up, we've got pull ups. This is another goated. I'm gonna put it actually in front of military press and also in front of bench press. Yeah, I think it's a better exercise than bench press. This is, I think is one of the goated, if not the goated, um, exercise. Um, it's beautiful, and again. It, the black contraction that you get on it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna put it in goaded. Um, push-ups. I'm gonna put push-ups in. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. I've been having like I don't know what I've eaten today, but I am a farty person. Like I, I do fart quite a lot. Um, push-ups. Um, I'll put push-ups in height as well. Um, sometimes I'll do them in a, in a workout. Sometimes I won't. But it's going all right. Like it's just, it's just not high exercise, isn't it? Push-ups. So next up, we got tricep overhead press. I'm gonna put this one in eight as well because it's quite self-explanatory. It's just like it's a nice, e it's a nice exercise. I use it quite often, but um, it's not decent. It's not like in the category of leg press lunges in that sort of category. It's just underneath them. It's like it's like challenging, but. It's like it's kind of like Everton in the Premier League. Like we got the top four, we got the best six in the Premier League. It's challenging to be in there, but it's never really going to get in there. You got, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, next we got single arm dumbbell row. Uh, just like the bent over barbell, I'm going to put it in height because I it, it's a nice exercise to do, um, but it doesn't get into decent because, in my opinion, lap pull downs are actually better than dumbbell row. Next up, we've got sit-ups. I'm going to put sit-ups in decent because I think it's one of the best ab exercises that you can do. Like, you have all these other dip variations like, oh, do this and then do that. Like, no, just like keep it simple, push-ups. It's like, it's a good exercise. If you can, like, do a load of uh, sit-ups, it's decent. Next up, we have skull crushers. This is the first one that's going to go and wouldn't choose to do it. Um, I never really liked skull crushers that much. Um, I see a lot of people actually doing them, but I just don't, I just don't feel that connection, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't, I, I don't like it too much. Um, that's why I'm choosing it, wouldn't choose to do it, like, like I would do it sometimes, some days, like, I, I think the last time I did it was like two weeks, I'm saying like a lot, I need to stop there. I did it about two weeks ago, but, anyway, we move, it's going to go and wouldn't choose to do it. We might, we might, we might re-rank a couple of these because I'm seeing a couple that should be maybe a little bit lower down. But for now, we're gonna put it in. Wouldn't choose to do it. Uh, next up, squats. Pretty self-explanatory. It's in goated. Um, it's above pull-ups, 
but just below deadlift. That's why I, that is the top five goated exercises, in my opinion. Next up, we're gonna tricep pull down. Um, I'm gonna say so I as well. Um, it'll be going ahead and tricep press. It'll go there, right there, just 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 in front of tricep overhead press, but below press ups. Uh, I use it quite a lot, really, in my gym. Um, well, it's not my gym, like the gym that I go to. Um, I, I believe it's a decent, decent tricep exercise, really. This so next up, we got treadmill. Um, treadmill. The thing is, if we're talking in Barcelona, I think it should be banned because I don't understand the, going, the point of going to a gym to go on a treadmill. I just, just do not understand that concept. I never will, never have. So I'm actually going to put it in band just all together. I just don't understand why you would go to a gym to run on a treadmill. Just go outside, go for a run. Next up we've got the bicep curl. Bicep curl is one of two ways, yeah? You have the people that do it all the time and overrate it and will put it in like goated. But then you have the people who shits on it and like, Oh, what are you doing biceps? Oh, dun, 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 dun. For me it's a decent exercise, bicep curl. I'm going to put it in front of sit-ups. Um, I just think it's decent. Uh, I think a bicep curl is decent. Next one is stair climber. Um, I'm just gonna go and I've never actually used this, so I'm gonna put it. It should be banned as well. I've never used it, so I can't really put it higher. Um, I'm just gonna say it should be banned. Uh, a bicycle machine. I'm actually gonna put it and wouldn't choose to do it because sometimes I actually do it as like a tad of a warm up, but. More or less, I never really go on it otherwise, but it's an okay thing to do if you don't have an actual bike. That's why that's why it's actually in wouldn't choose to do it rather than should be banned because some people don't have a bike, so they need like a, like a bicycle machine, whereas running, everyone has legs to run. Next up, we've got body weighted squats. Um, I wouldn't choose to do it, but it's all right for new people, like all people who are maybe a little bit overweight to start doing um, just body weight um, stuff. But I'm not gonna shit on it. Moving on to burpees. Ooh. I'm gonna put burpees in height. Actually, no, we're gonna move on decent. We're gonna go on burpees. I just think they're overall decent exercise, really. Uh, it, get, it gets the cardio up. Um, get, gets the uh, body pumping and everything like that. I think it's a good exercise to do like Maybe like you've lost a little bit of fitness and getting back into it. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in decent because I actually did a lot of these like when I first started working out with my brother, Athletes Express. Um, yeah, I, I did a couple of third piece with him. Next we have chest dips. Um, what? I I don't call them chest dips. I just call them dips. Um, I'm gonna put it in. I right. um, a lot of people actually can't. I couldn't actually do these until. Like this, not this year, like 2021. I'm like, since the start of September, I actually couldn't do any um, uh, dips. Now I can do like 15 to 20. Um, I think it's actually a decent move. Actually, we're gonna put it above tricep, above, we're gonna put it there, <clears throat> just above plank. Uh, I think it's a good thing to do, but a lot of people, when they're starting, they'll be like, oh yeah, let's go and do triceps. But they're actually a lot harder than people think they are, because you can see a lot of people. When they, when they like pull up bars, you're just like, oh, tricep must be quite easy. It's only actually when you've got like a technique and a thingy, then they get easier. Whereas like pull ups, you can have a technique, but it's still going to be hard. Like triceps are the other way, like they're going to be hard until you know the technique and then after they get easier. Next we've got chest press. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't choose to do it really. I'm not too sure what the exercise is too much, but I'm not going to... Alright guys, so I just found out that I wasn't recording, um, not wasn't recording, I recorded up to, I said chest press. Um, anyway, anyway, that is my list, as I, as I said actually before, but the camera recording. If you disagree with me in any way, put it in the comments. If you think should be banned treadmill, should be goated, put it in the comments and then we can have a little debate. Um, everyone get involved, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and until next time. See you later.